In Maryland, the General Assembly gaveled in for their session today as well. This one will last for the next 90 days. Adam Longo is at the State House and spoke with two state lawmakers who are making history. So the day's business here concluded just a few hours ago on the floor of the House of Delegates inside of the Maryland General Assembly. There is a lot of optimism here and not just by Maryland Democrats who will be controlling all three branches of government, but also optimism and excitement from two of the youngest members of the House of Delegates who were just sworn in in this room today. Ready to get to work? Ready to get to work. It's still surreal. I'm very excited. 26 year old Democrat Jeff Long represents parts of Prince George's and Calvert counties. And 25 year old Joe Vogel is from Montgomery County. His district includes Rockville and Gaithersburg. I'm ready. I'm eager. You know, it's been a long journey to get here. As they took the oath of office at noon, we're the first two Gen Z elected officials here, first two Gen Z legislators in the state of Maryland. Both delegates understand the gravity of not only representing their districts, but standing up for young people across Maryland. To be here um, as a voice, my generation, it's, it's very humbling. I'm not just carrying myself or my community, but the state as a whole. I represent an entire generation of young people uh, who have been unrepresented or underrepresented in our government. Both young Democrats are behind the speaker's agenda, and they've got priorities of their own. I'm excited to vote to codify uh, abortion rights in the Maryland Constitution, uh, to seeing the state take action on uh, gun violence. I want to help dignify our small businesses and help rural Maryland. We have a, a very vast transportation issue right now. Infrastructure system is broken. In the town that spends the taxpayers' money, both delegates know talk is cheap, and now it's time to roll up their sleeves. But to be honest with you, I'm ready to get past the pomp and circumstance and to get to work. Two of the big issues that will be debated by leaders here in the General Assembly in Maryland this session include abortion rights and the implementation of recreational marijuana, which voters approved during this past cycle. The 90-day session will get started in earnest tomorrow when the legislature convenes at noon. From the State House in Annapolis tonight, Adam Longo, WUSA 9.